true religion jeans. Not really a fan of these myself, but shit. Tag is one thirty nine, but this one sell right now for fifteen bucks, bro. Tell me what you guys think about these Air Maxes. Let me know what you guys think. This colorway is pretty dope. Only 45 bucks as opposed to 70. Not bad, bro. The colorway is pretty dope. Got that royal blue with the light blue trim. These look pretty fucking clean, bro. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, this color combination is pretty fire. Let me know if you guys agree, six and a half. Only 20 bucks for these, bro. Cop pass, fire, or trash. <laughs> Look what I came across, y'all. Kyrie Fly Trap 2. I think these were called, like, the graffitis also, or either called, uh... Yeah, I think these were called, like, the, the graffiti series. That's so funny, bro. They got them all here for little kids, of course, though. Nothing big at all. It's just weird to see these here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Kyrie, Flytrap 2. That's hilarious. We also got some D Roses here for 27 bucks. Uh, what size is this? Can't really tell what size it is, but pretty good condition, actually. Really good condition. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. I think I've seen these at the outlet. In another colorway. These right here are 45, which is still priced too high. Very school sizes. These Pumas, 26 bucks. I believe these are one of the newer models from Puma. One of the more recent ones. They had a few colorways of them. I'm not gonna pick these up, but I just wanted to show y'all these. And then these right here too, bro. I've seen these before. I feel like these are like some type of, these are something right here. This is not like, I don't know what the name of these are though. You guys have to let me know in the comment section. But these, I thought these had a little sauce to them though. I could be wrong. So these are Nike Moon Racers. Not much of a resale on them. I felt like they were part of like the, those other Air Maxes that came out, but I could be wrong. Look like we got some, some heat on here for the low. 10 and a half, they're a dark one. Size 10 and a half for these, only 50 bucks, bro. I've only seen them going for like 88 bucks. What do you think about these in the comment section below? Air Darwin, such a classic shoe, bro. This color combination is different. That army green. For the ladies, they got these Cortez, which I think are pretty unique. You got some nice, good quality on here. New buck or something like that. Only 39 bucks. Size five and a half only is the only size they have. The colorway's pretty dope. I wanted to see what you guys thought about those. So in the clearance section, uh, we got some Nike Freeze. Are these the 5.0s? I forgot what number these are. Only 27 bucks though. Maybe somebody might like these. They got two pair of them, 13 and 14. Was fortunate enough to come across these valleys. Now I believe these might have been returned, so they wasn't back on sale yet. But there's some Bally shoes. They're pretty dope. The price tag is it's kind of pricey, even with the red tag on them. But these shoes do look pretty fire. And I'm sure if you found them on their website or in a store, it'd be a lot more expensive. Let me know what you guys think about those. I also was fortunate enough to spot some Kyrie Low 2s, which we'll talk about in another video. But here's one pair of them. Found three pair of those. Then we have some more Adidas. Now, this shoe right here, I'm not really, uh, you know, the Pure Bounce is a shoe that's been around for a minute. A lot of different models and designs i'm not you know mad at this color way at least the, the you know the upper is pretty fire i wish they did something different with the midsole but overall the shoe was dope and of course the price tag is even better 34 bucks i believe they retail for like 160 180. now these shoes right here i'm only talking about and showing because they remind me so much of a kobe bryant shoe um these are like the crazy i forget the name of these actually but they had them in the black colorway with the white laces which i thought was a pretty dope touch it reminds me of like some lebrons then they also had the white and black colorway too out of both colorways which one do you guys like most i would definitely go with the black colorway then we also came across some of these adidas now these right here are fire on so many levels first of all only 25 dollars you see 24.99 these right here have so much cushion. They look so comfortable, bro. I was really disappointed. I didn't go ahead and scoop one for myself, but I had other things in my brain. 
this colorway is very, very dope. A lot of great details to them. And like I said, the quality is nice and very soft and cushiony. Like the upper as well as the midsole, you see that boost is looking real nice. Had to get a close up look at these. The stripes have some kind of reflective thing going on with them. I think these are really, really nice shoes. Out of a 10 scale, one to 10, I get these a solid, maybe even an eight, bro. Some classic New Balances that they had on the shelf for only 19 bucks or 20 bucks. You cannot go wrong with a pair of New Balance. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this model or not. Now, these Reeboks right here for 35, these right here were nice, bro. And for a Reebok, if I had it in my size, I would have definitely copped. The price point is great. I just like the look and the feel of those, bro. I never got a chance to try them on, but they had some really nice quality. It reminds me a lot of the previous shoe we saw, so I know it's gonna be very comfortable. These, these shoes don't stay on the shelf very long. Let me know what you guys think about those. But what about these, bro? Who would have knew that Marshalls would come across some undefeated Ultra Boost, the white colorway, in a few sizes, bro? So you know I had to go ahead and scoop these up. We're gonna go ahead and flip these, I believe, on StockX, maybe GOAT. We'll see what goes first. Found a couple pair of 14s, a five and a six. These were dope, probably my best find or one of my best finds so far. Dead stock pair, nothing wrong with them. Laces, extra laces, everything with them, super white. You can't go wrong with this shoe. From a one to 10 scale, man, what do you guys feel about these Ultra Boosts, these undefeated Adidas Ultra Boosts? Pretty fire, kind of for the perfect timing right now. It is summertime, so I think this will go pretty fast. And these are just the two classic ones I found most recently, excuse me with the background noise. You have Reeboks and Adidas out of these two shoes, which one do you guys like more? I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people might go with the Boost, but there is some great quality on these Reeboks. Do not sleep on those. You might want to check your local Marshalls. I'm telling you, Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx, Nordstrom's Rack are great places to try right now. This is just an eyesore. So many boxes that just get thrown away every day. As we go. Now these right here are pretty cool, and I believe these are the Pusher T model. I'm, I could be wrong. I've seen these in a few different colorways and they were deemed to be Pusher T's Adidas. Let me know if I'm wrong on that. What's that, $25 on these? Very, very dope shoe. Not mad at this colorway either. Uh, not necessarily for me, but I did think it was dope. The quality on them looked pretty nice. They did not have a size 13 anyway, but I wanted to show them to get your thoughts and opinions on this shoe in the comment section below. Then we got some more Adidas here. What we got underneath drum roll? Oh, another pair. Yeah, man, pretty comfortable. The quality on these definitely were, were up to par. I'm not mad at this shoe at all. Adidas, man, the Sensei Bounce. Let me know if you guys are, you know, familiar with these. I'm not quite sure that I am, but the upper of this colorway is fire. The reddish orange, the materials look crazy. I'm curious to see what they look like on feet. Did not have them in a size 13. Maybe I should have scooped these up. If you guys have more information on these, please let me know. Because these are definitely different, 34. 99 so 35 dollars you can't go wrong with that but the upper is looking really really nice that's why i had to go ahead and you know scope over these shoes a few times bro also looks like it's top of the line if you guys know more about these shoes let me know then we have some under armors now these are pretty dope they had them in a few different colorways uh i just wanted to get these on camera because i thought they did look pretty unique not necessarily something i would pick up for myself but they were pretty cool and then of course we got some more heat in a nike way you know the nike factory way <laughs> We have some more of these uh, Zoom Gravities in a white colorway. Now, not a bad shoe. We did a review on these on the main channel. Uh, not a bad shoe at all, just not for me. Let me know what you guys think. I'm hearing that they're a little bit overrated, but the price point here is definitely not overrated. What's that, 39 bucks or 40 bucks for these when they normally go for about 90 or so? Zoom Rear in a 14. Now this colorway I've seen at the outlet very recently and I'm very attracted to this colorway, the blue with the white and red Nike swoosh. Very dope quality, and that boot is just really hitting on that upper. Let me know if you guys are feeling these and if you guys own a pair of these. Give me the feedback on the flips of these. If you guys have uh, copped these for yourself and flipped them, or just copped them for yourself, give me all the feedback and details down below. Then we came across some SBs. They have all different type of shoes here at Marshalls, Rosses, and you know things of that nature. You need to definitely go ahead and check it out to find the best deals and things that might work for you. $27 on them SBs, very, very dope. Then we get to another box of some Nikes. Let's go ahead and see what's under the hood. And we have some of those. Not bad. These Reeboks here are pretty cool too. 
these are just some of the finds that I've seen. I just wanted to show you guys. Not necessarily something I would pick up, but this model is one of the most recent from Reebok. Reminds me of a few uh, other shoes out there in the market. Let me know what these shoes remind you of. If you own a pair of these or ever flip them, give us the, you know, what you cop them for and what they're going for online. This is not a shoe I'm getting, I'm passing on them. But I just had to show you guys some of the heat that I've been finding lately, bro. Puma's even been coming with the craziness. Now these RSX1s, I forget if I'm saying it right. This colorway reminds me so much of the Rave Runner. This is like one of the first colorways they dropped to this shoe. Very fire shoe, man. $34.99, $35. You can't go wrong with that. Not sure if there's really a resale. This is a shoe I would cop for personal because it's just so comfortable, bro. I stuck my head into a Burlington when the racks were empty and I found two pair of PG 2.5s in like a team basketball colorway. But these were size like 17. Couldn't really move them. So that's why I left them there. Price was not bad. I don't remember the actual price point. Maybe I might show this. But overall, this would have been a good find had these been a little bit, you know, smaller maybe. But no, sometimes the big sizes even sell, bro. Let me know what you guys think about this and if this is something you guys would have cop. Like I said, size 17, bro. And another shoe I came across in a very large size. I believe this was a 17 or 18, which is I'm which I was mad at. The Kyrie Low Hot Punch. These were definitely fire. I did a review on my main channel about these. Let me know what you guys think, man. Nobody was there, but the size is just too crazy. This would have been a shoe I was just holding because it was a Kyrie. I probably would have had it for a long time, but maybe not, bro. This is a shoe that's kind of hard to come by. Maybe I should have pulled the trigger. If you ever sold a pair of 18s or something like that in a shoe that's kind of, you know, popping, let me know how long it took for you guys to cop, man. 25 bucks or 35 bucks on those. That was also the price point. I didn't really want to pay for that, especially knowing that I might have to wait a long time. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. So if you did enjoy that video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe with the notification bell on. Give me all the feedback, of course, in the comment section below. Bobby Thrift is back. It's been a minute. Hopefully you guys come and join. Help this channel grow just like you do anything else you see from your boy. I appreciate it. Let me know overall in this video which find you felt was the best one. If you copped anything yourself and flipped it, give us the information in the comment section. This channel is here to kind of help everybody along with myself as I find deals and share them with you guys. You guys can do the same with me. It's your boy, Bobby Thrift. We about to go hard, full steam ahead, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.